So what is a brainstorming technique and why this technique is being basically used? So this technique is majorly used when we have to come up with new ideas. Okay, when we have to solve any problem, when we are in, when we are stuck in any situation and we will we are looking forward to solve a problem, or whenever we are in situation, whenever we we want everyone to come to a agreement, like common consensus. Okay. So basically, the brainstorming technique is somewhere where we everyone comes together, they understand, they bring comes up with new ideas, they identify the problems, they comes to an agreement towards. Okay. There are different ways a brainstorming technique can be used. I'll talk about them. So first type of a brainstorming technique, or uh, consider it, there are three different types of a brainstorming technique. Individual, open, and structured. So what is individual brainstorming technique is that whenever you are stuck in any situation or whenever there is someone who uh, someone asked you to come up with new ideas, you are sitting by your own self and then trying to figure out what uh, what are the best ideas that you can come up. Okay, what are the uh, how you can resolve this problem? You are not relying on others to come up with new ideas. You are thinking by your own self of how you can improvise it. Okay, as a BA, like this is the first approach which you usually do whenever you discuss any problem statement with your customer. Okay, the first thing what you try to do is you sit by your own self and then try to understand how that functional workflow should be working upon, or what could be the possible solutions towards this problem. Okay, so that is an individual brainstorming technique where you are not not relying on someone else, but you are putting your own thoughts into a paper or any way which suits you or a whiteboard and coming up with a new solution. Okay, second open open is basically whenever you are in a team group. Okay, you all comes together and then you you know say an open-ended questions to everyone. Like you know, this is a problem statement. Like we are have or we already have an application that has been live and that has been launched. What we want from team is now we are running short of ideas of what new features can be added or can be built in a the product. Then we we are now trying to brainstorm new features, new enhancement as a team. So we put an open-ended questions to a team like. He come up with ideas of your own. There is no limitations, no restrictions. Just come up with more of more business ideas, more of more feature ideas of how, what could be done in the function or in this project that could help us in excelling this career, uh, this project or help customer in growing its revenue. Okay, so that is an open-ended question where open-ended brainstorming where you all keep on working together, you all keep on you know identifying and understanding together that. Let's discuss together what all ideas each one of you have, and then take it ahead. Okay, this is another common kind of question that usually happens in an internal meetings, like whenever you are looking forward for enhancement or any problem resolution. So, with an internal team, you take up as an open structured brainstorming technique, where you know, as a facilitator, you basically tell them that okay, this is a problem statement we are trying to resolve. Now, please suggest us some ideas, some good ideas, what you all have. Okay, we give. Open opportunity to everyone that whatever ideas comes in your head, share it with us, so that we can figure it out, we can discuss it, and we can make sure that okay, that has been resolving our problem. Okay, another one is a structured form. Structured is basically more organized or symmetrical form of the this technique, where we have the agenda which has been uh you know clearly shared with everyone in the team that this is what you have to come up with an idea. Okay, so basically. As a structured uh, brainstorming technique, you ask your participants to write down their ideas. It's not just like, okay, this is an idea which I came up. Hear me out. This is an idea which I came up. Hear me out. No, everyone would be having getting an equal opportunity or basically a symmetrical opportunity to share their ideas. So what the facilitator wants everyone is write your ideas in your sticky notes, in your in your notepad, on your diaries, wherever you wanted to do. I'll come to each individual one by one, and then we'll be asking you about your ideas. Okay, and this process will keep on going until all the ideas are being exhausted or all the ideas are being highlighted by the team members. Okay, so there are two, there are three types of techniques. One is individual, where where a person, it is not specifically a business analyst, any person sits by his own and come up with ideas and solutions. Second is an open-ended meeting or open-ended brainstorming technique where you as a group. Sits together and come up with new suggestions, new ideas on ways to resolve a problem. 
third is a structured meeting where you ask your participants to write down the ideas and then you ask each one of them to you know share what the ideas they have written usually the two types of techniques which is majorly been used in an organization individual where uh, which is majorly headed by the business analyst uh, when they wanted to think or come up with their own ideas first and second is the open structure whenever the business analyst is short of any ideas or he needs more thoughts or more brains to come up with new suggestions then you propose and uh, you know open ended brainstorming technique so this is about the types of brainstorming technique i'll proceed ahead on the more part of uh, you know pros cons of brainstorming technique why it has been used what are the benefits this technique has and then i'll take your questions if you guys have any the biggest benefit of the brainstorming technique is that you get ample of ideas okay it's not just a one brain which is been coming up with an ideas it's just like you get multiple ideas in very short duration of time okay and it involves multiple perspective so you know everyone has their own way of thinking and coming up uh, and solving a problem so now when when multiple brains are been sitting together coming up with an ideas it's like you get multiple perspective of how a problem can be resolved okay and it also the best part of uh, you know brainstorming technique also is that it brings the team together it promotes equal participation in brainstorming there is no like he is a senior he is a junior or he is a team lead that views would be given more priority no everyone is considered equal and you know it involves that feeling of togetherness teamwork in the team members where because it encourages equal participation from everyone okay so biggest advantages of having is you get more ideas you get different perspectives and you promote equal participation the team start working or start feeling as a team together okay there are some disadvantages also which goes ahead with this uh, technique the first is because you can get ample of ideas ahead so you will not be having enough idea or enough time to discuss the ideas in detail okay like suppose today i'll talk about uh, the most common applications of matter which we all talk about we all have been sitting together we all have been brainstorming about what more opportunities or what more could be done in zomato application as an extension okay we all three of us come or we all of us can has come up with some of the ideas and suggestions that this could be done now i'll be giving a limited amount of time to each one of us okay to share what they what their ideas feel like but if the ideas are not been communicated well probably it could happen that some great ideas could not uh, could be dismissed at the same interval all the ideas are not been detailed discussed at the detailed level or the basic level so there are huge chances that the uh, some of the amazing ideas gets dismissed over there itself or can be misunderstood over there okay that's a common downfall of this you know brainstorming technique but what we usually do to mitigate it is that we try to break our meetings into multiple chunks like you know when we have when we all came up with, together with supposed 15 ideas of what could be done in zomato for extension probably discussing all 15 together in a meeting is not a good approach so what it could be done is like uh, as a ba as a facilitator you probably break or have multiple follow up meetings like today in one meeting we discuss only three ideas in next meeting we discuss couple more ideas okay in this way we just we have broken down our meeting into smaller chunks so that each uh, idea could be discussed uh, in better way and we can identify that if this idea really makes sense for us or for the business to be discussed further with the customer or not okay this is what we are doing internally and usually a brainstorming technique is what majorly done internally itself okay you do have brainstorming meetings with the customer also but it more or less uh, is an internal meeting more and because it's major idea or major you know use cases to come up with new ideas or solve any problem so that is something which which you prepare yourself before going to the client meeting okay 